Hello everyone, this is Little Black Dragon, and you are watching another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age 2. In our last installment, Noir decided to finally go fulfill her promise to Flemeth and deliver the amulet to Keeper Marathari. It seems that we need to take the amulet to the top of Sundermount and have a funeral rite of sorts performed. And in addition, for doing all of this, we are also going to after this is done, be taking the Keeper's first Meryl with us back to Kirkwall. And it seems like the clan does not think too kindly of her. I mean, that seems a bit harsh, considering she seems very nice. But we still have some stuff to deal with, and the ritual hasn't been performed yet. And so we're gonna have to go forward by dealing with this barrier here. So with that said, let us move forward. I can open the way forward. One moment. All right. Oh. You just use blood magic. Blood magic. Foolish. Very foolish. Yes, it was blood magic, but I know what I'm doing. The spirit helped us, didn't it? I mean, it did, but... Yeah, about that. Sure, demons are very helpful. Right up until they take your mind and turn you into a monster. Well, yes. But that won't happen. I know how to defend myself. Be careful up ahead. Restless things prowl the heights. That was an In interesting... In the days of Arlathon, the elders came here to sleep. Uthanara. The endless dream, they called it. But they don't sleep peacefully anymore. I can imagine. Well, uh... I appreciate she has confidence in defending herself against demons, but you are dealing with dangerous territory. I mean, spirits can be good, spirits can be bad, but there is a reason that blood magic can be concerning. Now, I don't automatically think blood magic is bad like I used to. But it is very tricky and is very dangerous, so it is worth being concerned about. So, Meryl, I just really, really hope you're being as careful as you say. Because you could get in big, big trouble if stuff goes bad. And when stuff goes bad with blood magic, it can go really bad. Anyway... I think there is a thing. That is a deep mushroom. And there is a associated codex. And I picked the option I did because I honestly thought it was the closest thing to what I think Noir would actually say, but because the other two options Eh, the other one feels a bit too dismissive of the gravity of the situation, and the other one is just, well, mean. And I don't think Meryl has necessarily earned being, uh, mean to. I mean, she seems very nice. Anyway, let's see. I guess all we have to do is deal with the altar, but... Eh, I don't like the fact that there are skeletons around here. Yep. Get back here. Ah, there you are. You are going to die. There we go. And we will have some stuff to deal with. 
after this, but we have even more dead things to deal with. I mean, Meryl did warn us. Oh, there's one more. Right here, another Shadow Warrior. Sounds good. Uh, before we do that, I want to see what the Arcane Horror has. Ooh, six Sovereigns. We can definitely use that. Anything over here? Does not look like it. Alright, let us go place that amulet on the altar then. Namalana Salem Emma Ira Al Bella Seviranan Isalahamin Vinanhim Dofilas In Uthenera Narivas Well, 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 we meet again. Here we are. A witch. It's all right, Fenris. She means us no harm. Andarana Tishian Ashabalana. One of the people. I see. So young and bright. Do you know who I am beyond that title? I know only a little. Then stand. The people bend their knee too quickly. So refreshing to see someone who keeps their end of a bargain. I half expected my amulet to end up in a merchant's pocket. Hmm. Eh, fair assessment. But Noir is the more honorable sort. I agreed to deliver the amulet. Though you could have told me you were inside it. Just a piece. A small piece. But it was all I needed. A bit of security should the inevitable occur. And if I know my Morrigan, it already has. Morrigan? Is that someone I should know? She's a girl who thinks she knows what is what better than I or anyone. <laughs> and why not? I raised her to be as she is. I cannot expect her to be less. I'm not sure whether she's your daughter or your enemy. Neither is she. Well... Uh, an accurate assessment in all fairness. And considering what she learned about you in Dragon Age Origins, even more fair. Although Noir doesn't know any of this. Why did you need me to bring you here? Because I had an appointment to keep. And because I did not want to be followed, you smuggled me here quite nicely. I see. I don't understand. Are you some kind of vision? <laughs> Must I be in only one place? Bodies are such limiting things. I am but a fragment cast adrift from the whole. A bit of flotsam to cling to in the storm. I see. So you're a piece of Flemeth, then. Interesting. Um... Hmm. It does leave me questions about some of the other things that Flemeth can do. But... I don't think Noir quite gets it. A fragment. You do not need to understand, child. Know only that you may have saved my life, just as I once saved yours. And even trade, I think. I see. Well, I think we have someone who may have some input of his own. You are no simple witch. Figure that out yourself, did you? I have seen powerful mages, spirits, and abominations, but you are none of those things. What are you? Such a curious lad. The chains are broken, 
But are you truly free? You see a great deal. I am a fly in the ointment. I am a whisper in the shadows. I am also an old, old woman. More than that, you need not know. Little ominous there. Um, also, interestingly enough, uh, if you have Aveline in your party at this time, uh, she's the one who calms Fenris instead of Meryl, and that's who I normally bring with, and she's like, you know, calm yourself, we know this one. But I admit, I like Meryl's interjection here, too. Well, only one more question to ask, then. You have plans, I take it. Destiny awaits us both, dear girl. We have much to do. Before I go, a word of advice. We stand upon the precipice of change. The world fears the inevitable plummet into the abyss. Watch for that moment, and when it comes, do not hesitate to leap. It is only when you fall that you learn whether you can fly. I see. Well, uh, interesting you of all people say that. Cheap advice from a dragon. We all have our challenges. <laughs> Are we going to regret bringing her here? A fair question. Regret is something I know well. Take care not to cling to it. To hold it so close that it poisons your soul. When the time comes for your regrets, remember me. As for you, child, step carefully. No path is darker than when your eyes are shut. Master Anas Ashabelinar. Now the time has come for me to leave. You have my thanks and my sympathy. Personally, I think some of the advice she gives here is actually quite good, especially when it comes to regret. Regret will poison you if you keep it a bit too closely. Oh, and another eight sovereigns. Very nice. So I think we are at... Ooh, 27 sovereigns, so we're more than halfway there. Just need... 23 more, and we can do the expedition. But... We're going to be doing a lot more quests in the meantime, so I feel like we'll have more than enough by the time we're done. Oh well, back to camp we go. Maserana's child, your debt is paid in full. It isn't too late to change your mind, Dalen. Darath Shiral, Keeper. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Let's depart. All right. Elganon. Is this... Is this really where the elves live? Yes, this is it. Not the prettiest part of Kirkwall, but it doesn't have a view of the giant chains. Take what you can get. I didn't think it would be so... so... I've never seen so many people in one place before. It seems so lonely. Oh, Meryl. Well, if there's one small bit of comfort Noir can give, it's that you have friends here. You already know me. You'll make other friends soon enough. Guy. Thank you. Thank you for everything. For all your help. Will you come visit me? Not now, of course. But maybe later. I could use a friend. I definitely will. I'd like that, Meryl. Thank you. Oh, I'm thanking you too much, aren't I? I mean it, though. Aww. I have a feeling we're gonna get along just fine. 
even if you're uh, venturing into dangerous territory here. Alrighty. Uh, Fenris, I think I'm gonna switch you out for Meryl. Why, hello there. Was he at the tavern? Uh, Fenris did not, not like today. that, apparently. My have me um, well, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be mean to her because she's nice. And I understand why he is a bit concerned, but I mean, hey. Maybe if we hang out, we can find out more about what she's venturing into exactly. And maybe we can figure out if things are going to be okay or not. Anyway, Meryl's home is right here. Oh, and she leveled up. Let's just auto-level you, hun, and... Let's kit you out in some new equipment. Let's see. Electricity. Electricity. These all do electricity, so it really doesn't matter. Let's see. These are the same. Let's give you this one. And move these all to junk. And move this to junk, because we're just going to be selling all of that. Let's see. Ring of the Magister. Let's give you that, and this, and this. Alrighty. And let's go check out your new abode. The worst is over. Ah, so this is Meryl's home. Uh, and there is a place to gather our party, which is very convenient. Let's see, mana and the use of magic. Let's see, anything else? Do, do, do. The Maker's First Children will want to grab that codex as well. Let's see, do, do Oh, this is a rather long codex. Senior Enchanter of Ostwick. Interesting. Anyway, I would like to speak with you, Meryl, if you don't mind. I didn't think you'd come. Oh, of course I came. I found something relatively clean for you to sit on. Sounds good. Can I get you something to eat or drink? I have water. Oh. It's okay. I came here to see you, Meryl. You don't have to fuss over me. You're so kind. My first guest and I'm already a terrible host. No, you're not. You're fine. I wanted to thank you for bringing me here, but I'm making a mess of it. Oh, no, you're not. I mean, Noir would certainly don't think you need to thank her. But you're most definitely not making a mess of it. Listen. Listen. You're fine. You really are fine. It's cool. You're so sweet, Meryl. Not as sweet as you, that is. Good wishes are a poor gift after all you've done for me. Oh. I haven't exactly had many friends. Not even among my own clan. This is... tricky. Hmm. You didn't have many friends? Well, all the more reason uh, Noir is going to be your friend and it'll be awesome. Or possibly more than friends. You never know. What made you unpopular with the Dalish? Being first to the Keeper, I was always a bit secluded. I studied magic and history while the others were learning the Via Tanadal. It's good that I left. I'd have made a terrible Keeper. I was never that good with people. 
Uh, I relate to that as the, the Let's Player, not as Noir. I think Noir is actually a lot better than people... Uh, is a lot better at peopling than I am. Um, anyway, um... I think you are doing just fine. And I think Noir would be inclined to agree. You seem to be getting the hang of it already. I'm glad you think so. Thank you for coming to visit me, Hawk. It means a lot to me. Aww. I'm so happy. She's so nice. By the Dread Wolf! Why is my house always such a mess when people are here? It's clean sometimes, I swear. <laughs> You know, I also relate to that. It's like, oh my gosh, why is my house so messy when I have company over? And let me tell you, it often feels like, you know, on the day I have company over, it's like, the house is such a mess. How did it get to be such a mess? Oh my gosh. But yeah, I, I definitely super relate to Meryl these days because of how anxious she is. Anyway, uh, let's pick up this codex for Arlathan Part 2. This is another pretty long codex. Alrighty. Well, I think with Meryl being recruited, I think we have all possible companions up to this point. So it's it's just a matter of what I want to do now, because I... Oh, that's a good question. Let's see. Well, we've recruited all companions, and... Let's see. Wadeward's Son, Act of Mercy, Enemies Among Us, Black Powder Promise, and Shepherding Wolves. Hmm. Well, there was that a person outside who was talking to that Templar, maybe we should go talk to her next. Or we could always go to the gallows, or maybe talk to Isabella. Hmm. Or I suppose we could speak to Mirin about that job he has for us. Or talk to Hubert about the bone pit. We have a lot of things we could be doing. Let's see, we dealt with two of the three groups. There is the Wounded Coast uh, group of Flint mercenaries we need to deal with. I suppose we could always go do that next. Hmm. You know what, why don't we leave Carver behind for a bit and take Fenris with us? Cool beans. Anyway, we can leave the area directly from here and go to the Wounded Coast. Let's go. Oh dear, we've been ambushed. That's not good. Oh, let's see what's around here. Looks like there are some spiders up there. Let's try and see what's around here first, real quick. Let's see anything? Nope, I guess the only thing to deal with are these uh, spiders that are up ahead. Alrighty. Let's go. Now we fight. Oh boy. I'll deal with it. Well, that was easy. The danger is past. Are you alright? No thanks to this lot. Can't get a decent blade at a bargain anymore. 
You, though, you're what a man needs. A skilled enthusiast. A skilled enthusiast? Are you sure about that? Your mess just picked me up on the way by. Still better than what I had. Look, the name's Javaris Tintop. I need someone to help pacify the Kunari. Why do I get the feeling he's not talking about singing them a lullaby? Those hornheads in Kirkwall have a powder that explodes, and it's just dust. No lyrium, no demons. Anyone can use it. I often look at every second idiot and think, he needs more power. I mean, Varric totally has a point here, and based on the description, this sounds very much like gunpowder. I mean, if it's not dust, it sounds like magic. Um, but... Uh, I'm a bit concerned about this. I doubt they were eager to sell. That Arishok said I wasn't worthy. That only their outcast, the Talvashoth, or that mercenary. I said, great, I'll go talk to them. Didn't go over well. But, made me think. Maybe he'll bargain if I get rid of something that bothers him more than, well, me. The Talvashoth. The Talvashoth. Are you up for some paid hunting? Um, that depends. Your people must have something like that already. Small things shaped to crack faults, not shatter the earth. Plus, they're mostly lyrium. Expensive, poisonous, the Chantry controls it topside, the glow makes you a target. A problem after problem. I mean, that's fair. Um... Hmm... Well, let's see. I can either say I'm in if the coin is good, or I'd do it to have hot outlaws. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm... Well, I mean, she is looking for money right now, and she'd probably be in it to hunt outlaws if these Talvashoth are in fact outlaws. Uh, I mean, they sound like it considering they're outcasts, but... Um... Alright, I mean, we do need the money, and hunting outlaws usually does yield something. I suppose there could be a reward for these Talvashoth. As long as you do it, I'm happy. Now, best I could figure, they're up the wounded coast, a whole camp. Take their heads off and meet me at the compound in Kirkwall. Get this right, and we'll be richly rewarded. Richly. Alright, well that starts the new quest. And I think that's all we can do. Is there any treasure or anything back here that I can do? Oh, cast treaty. Cast treatise. And that's a side quest, which we can turn in later. Oh, wait, there is something else I can pick up here. Some embryum. Ooh, and there's a variety known as Dark Embryum. Sounds awesome. Well, anyway, thanks to that little interruption, we are actually uh, just about out of time, so I'm going to save and cut the video off here. But of course, if you enjoyed my video, you can see me in the next installment. You can keep updated by subscribing to my channel or following me on Twitter at LBD Let's Plays. Of course, if you want to support me in other ways, you can also buy me a coffee at ko-fi.com slash littleblackdragon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.